So everybody say, Jesus is the word. Sometimes when we read Psalms 107 and 20 or hear it preached, we think of the passage actually coming to pass somewhere in our near future or personally in our life, but it is not so. That passage came to pass at the cross. God sent his word. Somebody say, Jesus is the word. He sent his word, healed us, and delivered us from all our destruction. Somebody say, at the cross. I saw somebody say something on social media the other day that sounded good but weren't sound doctrine. Figure that. That happens a lot on social media. Boy, if you're only getting your preaching from social media, God help you. Hallelujah. And, uh, but it sounded good, but it weren't sound doctrine. And, it, and, and this was the statement. It said, it says, remember, saints, Jesus wins in the end. Yeah, you got it. We, we look at Christ in the end times and his return, the rapturous church in the clouds, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. And then after, you know, seven years of a great tribulation, the first three and a half years being the tribulation and the last three and a half being the great tribulation. And then Revelation 19, when Jesus comes back on that white horse, you know, and, and destroys all the armies of the earth and the world that are against him and his kingdom and Israel and, and his church. And you, and you think about it, amen. And, and, and they make reference to that as well. You know, Jesus wins in the end. No, he's Alpha, he's Omega. He's beginning and end. He's first and last. Revelation 22, 13. There ain't never been a time in history which is his story or in the present or the future to be. He's Jesus Christ who was, who is, and is to come. There's not a moment he's not ever been the victor. Jesus don't fight to win. He's already won. Somebody shouting, if we got faith in him, we're not fighting to win. We don't fight for victory. We fight from it. Somebody shout, we got a good fight. It ain't just a fight of faith. It's a good fight of faith. According to 1 uh, Timothy 6 and 16, or verse 12, somebody say, it's a good fight. Because it's already been won. Colossians 2.15 says that every prince paddly, somebody say that means every demon, including the chief of demons, Satan, has been spoiled, openly put to shame, somebody say at the cross. Colossians 2.15. So everybody say Jesus is always one. It don't matter. Hey Amen. He's not, you know, people picture Jesus and the devil fighting like, like it's a, a, a boxing ring or a wrestling ring or like it's some type of war. Somebody shouts, Satan always fights against the Most High as an unfair fight. It's an unfair fight for the enemy always. Praise God. Because Jesus has already defeated him at the cross. So I don't look ahead to the future to see if Jesus is going to win. Amen. And I used to say, and I read the back of the book, we win. Well, I've read Genesis 1, we win. I, I, I praise God. I, I, I read no matter where I read in the Bible, we already won. Amen. It ain't about something that's coming. Amen. He's already defeated the devil. Somebody said at the cross, the devil lost. Amen. That's where Satan was defeated at. Amen. So a lot of times people's trying to look for a future reference to say, well, we're going to win or it's going to happen or it's going to this, it's going to be like this. No, I look back. I see the cross. And somebody say at the cross, we look back and find that sin was defeated to those who believe on him. Now to those who don't, sin still rules and reigns in their life. Amen. But for those that believe on what he did at the cross, in that moment when they repent, somebody shout, sin's defeated. The old serpent's defeated. Well, not only is sin defeated, by whose stripes ye were healed, 1 Peter 2, 24. So when I look back at the cross, amen, I find out by his stripes, ye. Somebody get personal with it. Somebody look at somebody and say, hey, ye. Hey. Amen. Ye were healed. So before ye were sick, before ye had to go to the doctor, before ye were diagnosed with whatever, ye were healed. Everybody go, yee! <laughs> Hallelujah. Ye were. I can't laugh too much. I get to... 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So by his stripes, ye were. So everybody say back at the cross is where we have to look. Amen. I know. Amen. I'm a victor because of what he did at the cross. Amen. I know I've already won whatever f battle I'm having to fight through at the moment because I'm not fighting to win. I'm fighting because I have won. Amen. Praise God. We're not fighting for victory. Somebody say we're fighting from it. Amen. And there's a big difference. Praise God. So you see how some things sound good, but they really not sound doctrine. Amen. Praise God. That's why some of these preachers need to be taught the word of God before they start trying to preach to everybody else. That's what happens when you won't sit up under somebody long enough. But anyhow, I ain't going to get on all that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit.